tonight. This is Jack. Another Corella that out of the blue dropped in last year sometime and decided to make our place um, part-time home. Comes every morning and evening with the flock. If you can see his right eye, he's blind. We noticed that basically from the first day, it must have been a new injury when he started coming. And it's progressively, well, it's got to the stage where it is now. I don't know if you can see it very clearly. But um, about a month or two ago, he turned up one morning limping, had feathers missing, had blood over him. He'd obviously been in a fight. Um, we feared the worst, uh, but he hobbled up to us and he let us give him some seed. And as you can see, he's enjoying a piece of corn. We think he's got a partner. He sometimes comes, turns up with a partner. He just dropped his corn. He likes almonds and wild bird seed, as most of the birds like. But uh, as I've probably said on one or two of our other videos, oh, here's another one of our rescue birds just turned up for a feed. This is Lopsy. He's a long bill. See his right wing house hanging? Here's another story going back about two years. Turned up one day, we saw him limping through the garden. Evelyn, correct me if I'm wrong. He could barely fly. Uh, obviously been an attack or something had happened. Um, that right wing of his was drooping. And we called him Lopsy from day one. We actually caught him and... No, he walked into the Avery. He walked into the Avery. Didn't we home him? Yeah, we did. But he, he, he actually walked into Gilly's Avery, which is over there, and we realised... It's open like that, really. It was open like that, getting... Evelyn was actually cleaning, it was empty. And we realised uh, he had a problem. So we caught him, which wasn't hard because he could barely fly. And he spent a number of months in that cage that you can see right there. And a, f a number of months later, we released him. And when he flies off, um, he has a sort of a significant sound, like uh, maybe needs WD-40 because he can't really use that right wing to the full capacity. But he certainly can fly. It's not a problem. So he's another bird that turns up in the morning, turns up in the evening, comes for a bit of a feed, and then they'll fly off with the flock. As I started to say before he arrived, our house or our place, our garden, has many a time been a refuge centre where injured birds have come. They've just turned up out of the blue. There's Jack. He's waiting for a bit more to eat. He's taking a piece of corn. And he'll he'll sit up there now and he'll eat it on his own some. And we don't have a problem helping these birds out because on their own they probably wouldn't survive um, in terms of feed. So if we can give them a supplement. It's the best way to have birds, let them be free. So we don't handle these birds, although when he was in care, so to speak, he would let us hand feed him an almond or two, but we would never encourage him to step up or hold him or anything like that. But as I say, you can see that right wing of his, how it's drooping. So we've got Jack, we've got Lopsy, we've got Rambo. Rambo's our first real rescue. And they're all Corellas. Our house has become a drop-in centre for Corellas. Okay.